Has this ever happened with you? That when you start dieting or eating healthy and up until afternoon everything is going great like you're nailing it like a pro. But evening hote hote you're so unbelievably hungry that you start looking for food in your pantry, in your refrigerator and you end up eating all that you shouldn't be eating. If this is your problem, you've come at the right place. Hi, I'm Elena Varia, a nutritionist and a dietitian and you are on my Fantas channel. Today I'll be sharing three interesting recipes with you. All these three are dense in nutrients and low in calories. They're pretty easy to prepare and can be made in advance and they're great for working professionals, busy moms and even students. So yeah, let's begin. The first recipe I'm sharing with you is Jawar Pops. Uh, to prepare this, we'll take one cup of Jawar kernels and we'll soak it in a glass of water. Uh, Jawar, by the way, is also known as sorghum in a lot of countries and because it is gluten-free, it is great for those who are living with celiac disease or even for those who are suffering from IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. This quality combined with its high fiber profile makes it a great option for those who have bloating, constipation, diarrhea or even headache. Soaking actually is a very important step. One because when the grain is softer, it will pop better, obviously. Dusra, when we eat a lot of grains, there are minerals, but there is an acid whose name is phytic acid. Now, this acid forms a bond with the mineral and does not allow the mineral to be absorbed by our body. But when we soak the grain, when we soak any grain for that matter, this bond breaks and the mineral is set free which is why it is absorbed better. Uh, long story short, soak your grains. So that is what we're doing today as well. So we'll be soaking Jawar kernels and uh, once it is sufficiently soaked for 10 to 15 minutes, we will pat them dry. We have to ensure that the outer layer, the outer covering is completely dry because if there is moisture left, the grains will not pop but instead burn. So yeah, that's it. Next, we'll take a pan and place our kernels on it and let them pop. One important thing to remember though is to make sure that there is enough space for the kernels to pop. So don't overcrowd the pan because if you do so, the kernels won't pop and they will start burning. So to avoid that, make sure that there is enough space and there are not a lot of kernels at the same time. There are three reasons why Jawar Pops are better than popcorn. One. Jawar is not starchy like corn, which makes it a great option for those who are watching their weight. Two, it has very low GI, which is why it is superb for those who are living with diabetes or PCOD. And three, it requires absolutely no oil for preparation unlike corn. Isn't that awesome? Oh yes, I completely forgot to mention one important thing is that you have to keep shaking the pan in between so that if there are any kernels which have not popped or are undercooked, they also get a chance to pop. Next, I'm adding pink Himalayan salt to it. Honestly, on most days, I don't add any salt because they taste good as it is, but this is up to you. If you like salt in your food, you can add this. Uh, you can also add nutritional yeast flakes, which are zero in calories. They are actually um, great for those who are practicing veganism and they give a very uh, cheesy nutty flavor without adding any fat to your food. You can also add chaat masala, or chili powder or black salt, any flavors of your choice actually. And yeah, that's it. It's ready to consume. I'm pretty sure you'll love this. Give it a try. Next, we are making makhana meal, which is my family's favorite. So first, we'll take a pan and we'll put one teaspoon of pure ghee. Prefer homemade ghee. You can also buy ready-made pure ghee, but avoid panaspati. Then we'll add curry leaves, followed by chilies. So I added two chilies because I like my food to be mild, spicy, but then it's totally up to you. You can add as much you like, as much spicy you like your food to be. Next, we'll add a one third uh, bowl of peanuts and roast properly. Then we'll add two cups of fox nuts or makhana. I'm adding just one here, but I'll later add one more, which is not visible in the video. So yeah, two cups of makhanas followed by two cups of uh, rice puffs, which is kurmura, 
mamra i don't know what it's called but yeah rice puffs you will see how it looks so this is how rice puff looks i don't know what it's called in your native language but you know what it is so yeah two cups of makhana followed by two cups of rice puffs next we'll add some salt some pepper and turmeric powder and that's it a makhana meal is ready Makhana is a great snack for those who are trying to lose weight especially if they have high BP as well because it is low in sodium and high in potassium and magnesium it is quite crunchy and filling so it's great for toddlers and kids as well because they love crunchy food so yeah that's it a makhana bhel is ready you can eat it as it is or save in an airtight container next we are making my personal favorite granola For this we will take 4 dates and we will soak them in a cup of water for around 10 to 15 minutes till they are soft. Next we will take rolled oats. Now these are not your regular oats. They are not instant oats. They are different. So yeah, this is how they look. So we will take 1 cup of rolled oats and we will mix 1 cup of puffed rice to it. Once they're mixed properly, uh, I'm adding a mixture of different seeds. I have taken pumpkin seeds, watermelon seeds. I have also taken almonds. So yeah, it's totally up to you. You can add as many seeds you can get, and also nuts of your choice. Next, we will uh, de-seed the dates and blenderize them till they transform into a thick, rich puree. This is how the puree should look. We will take this puree in a pan and we will cook it with some honey. The reason why we are doing this is because we are eliminating the oil component which is usually a staple in granola. A lot of people add oil and we are uh, replacing the oil with uh, healthy ingredients which have a lot of minerals in them. So yeah, 1 tablespoon of honey, a puree of 4 dates and a couple of drops of vanilla essence. So we will mix all the three ingredients and let them cook. And in the meantime, I am uh, breaking up a fistful of cashews. So uh, you can roughly chop them, but I like to do it this way because I like my cashews to be chunky and big in size. And uh, once this is done, I will mix the concoction, which is almost ready now. And we will mix it with the granola, like the mixture of granola, and uh, we will prepare it for baking. So once this is done, we will ensure that all the bits and pieces present in the mixture, be it oats, the rice puffs, the seeds, all of them are coated with this mixture, so that when we bake, it's cooked thoroughly and there are no dark spots and there are no burns, and they cook evenly together. Once this is mixed thoroughly, I will transfer the bowl in my microwave and cook for around 10 to 15 minutes. You can also use baking oven or air fryer, whatever equipment you have. You can also use a tawa, in fact, uh, to roast this. The key is to make sure that all the uh, grains and all the uh, the oats, the puffed rice, and all the seeds are all crispy. They are brown, like they're light golden brown, not dark brown, not white. So you have to keep checking in between to ensure that it's evenly cooked. Next, we'll add cranberries, my personal favorite ingredient. They add like a dash of tanginess and so much of texture. Next, we will also add choco chips because who doesn't like choco chips? Uh, so yeah, that's it. Our granola is ready. I personally love to have it with curd. So you can take a bowl of curd, put some granola, add some chia seeds or hemp seeds or flax seeds. and it makes an amazing evening snack you can also have it with milk which is what most people do so these were all the three recipes they are incredibly yummy and packed with nutrients if you like this video i'm pretty sure you'll like the next one too Hit on the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any nutritious recipe ideas. And if you found any inspiration in this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for stopping by. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.